Okay, here's the outside. Transom looks good. This side, this actually side, there's a little bit of a scuff mark there. Uh, that's actually just rubs out. Uh, like I said, the port side is in excellent condition. There is one little nick there. Very tiny pinhead. This side looks really good. Rub rail has been beat on, but that's that's it's, that's the purpose of it. Now the starboard side, a little different story. These were this is all like this when I bought it. Uh, my wife's only added a well, not really my wife, but us added a couple ourselves. So here are some. These I fixed myself. Don't do gel coat at night. It's hard to match color. But they see they're pretty small. But easily can be uh, redone very easily. Actually, I can redo it myself and match the color. I just haven't done it. Uh, right there, some more. There's three of them one there, one there, one there. Very tiny. I got carried away. And this one here, which is a pretty good one when I got it. It needed fixed, definitely. And then on this side here, there's some that I have not fixed. Need to be. And got one more down here that I fixed. Again, not very good on color, but all in all, not bad. Uh, shines up glosses up real good. Cleats, correct cleats. Uh, I added the gum skid. But that's the only blends are the little bit in the vinyl and this gel coat beading. All in all, great boat. That's a new prop. It's 1433. I've got two props, three tracking fins. I still have the factory prop. That prop there gives me a little more torque, a little more low end for surfing. Like I said, rough shape. I've repainted them. Plasti dipped them so they can come off. Uh, you can see the bottom brackets. Those broke a couple years ago. Actually, one was broke when I got it. Had it welded, sanded it. And then just the other day, hitting some heavy wake and a heavy wake board. Broke that finger. But again, they're pretty rough shape when I got them. That's it.